Good evening, good afternoon, wherever it is you're located. I am in on my phone mode because I cannot get my camera on my uh, laptop to work. Somebody asked what type of laptop I had. It's a Samsung, by the way, same as my phone. But the camera's not working. The internal camera says it's something else is using the camera. I don't know. It is what it is. And I left my camera. I thought I packed it, but I, I did not put it in my uh, luggage. But as I get ready to get out of here, I wanted to address this. The fact that there are protests in Medellin, Colombia now, of course. And I said this two days ago. I said, this is a fluid situation. This is not over. There will be protests. Believe it. Because it happened before. Um, and obviously, same thing happened in Cartagena, too, when he restricted the mobility of the S workers. We get what S is now, and you understand, hopefully, the viewers, my regular viewers, know why I use the S term so they don't flag me. But there's a couple of stories that I wanted to touch on, and I didn't want to wait until tomorrow, and I have to pack. I have to pack and get all this junk out of here. And I am blessed enough to be upgraded to first class on my second flight. Thank you, Lord. The blessings, blessings, and thank you to my boss for allowing this too. Uh, anyway, this one is from El Colombiano. It's entitled, uh, They Only Prohibit Prostitution, But a Comprehensive Project is Missing. S Workers After Decree in El Poblado. So they're, they're upset about it, of course. Uh, only thing to do in Medellin is S and party. Okay, outlawing, that is crazy. Well, he's not outlawing it. Like, he restricted against those four locations. Again, Parque Yeres, Parque Presidencial, uh, Parque Poblado, and uh, Provenza. So just those four areas. And obviously they're watching on Calle Diaz because Calle Diaz is where the young ones hang outside, right outside of where they actually start checking IDs. Uh, but anyway, we knew it was gonna be a big hubbub. This is gonna go on for a while. I, just as I said the other day, there's gonna be protests. I'm telling you, this is a fluid situation. This stuff is gonna be popping up. I will do my best to keep up with the uh, with your comments as they come up, but I guess you guys will see it. But it says, S workers consider that prohibiting these services stigmatizes them, puts them at risk, and is not a fundamental solution to crimes such as the exploitation of the younger ones. They're saying that's not the answer, obviously. In the midst of the chain of errors for which the police are being investigated for the case of S exploitation against two girls, at the Gotham Hotel, they keep putting this hotel, they've never mentioned hotels before, but all of a sudden, the Gotham Hotel, the Gotham Hotel, I mean, I don't know if that's run by anybody under anybody's control, but he's not loving on the the uh, the Gotham Hotel. They never put this stuff in the paper, but this is in every article. Uh, obviously, because the police allowed after 10 or 12 hours allowed that guy to leave the country and to go back to uh, Florida. I can't believe he's not caught yet. Somebody tell me he's caught. I've been busy. I've been in a trade show all day. And then last night, man, I, I know somebody has to have had to have seen this cat like somebody commented he was a friend and like i said is he a really a good friend of yours i mean how, well, how good a friend are you that you would allow would you allow him to do that and get away with it if he did in fact do it but obviously they caught him with paraphernalia in the room you know i'm not going to get into all the stuff they found in the room but they did find other stuff at least one of the stories mentions the things uh, but this story says Mayor Federico Gutierrez explained that in these areas there are interference from a human trafficking network in which there are criminal structures that are behind the crimes of exploitation of minors. And they, so they they get this. It's got and and they're in charge of that and for the prostitution too. Um, I I went on a live uh, last night. Was it last night when I got back? Yeah, uh, last night on Andre uh, Love Crossing Borders. Uh, also, Aaron, BMT, joined us also, and we discussed it. So if you didn't see that video, go check that video out on his where we discuss all this from each of our point of view. Um, but this is a fluid situation. There he said the measure would conceive the two, uh, two ways to protect the population that is vulnerable to falling into these trafficking networks, to suffering violence, and being exploited. And we talked about the movie. It made me think of that because we talked about the movie The Sound of Freedom. If you haven't seen that movie... It's about this, exploitation and trafficking. Like, there's going to be a new one coming out soon called Did He Do It? Watch that, too, on your local channels coming up soon. Oh, boy, in a, in a world of hurt. But this is just basically saying, and there's video, too. I can't play it. I don't know how to play it over here. But there's video of the protesters going around, and they're hanging these signs, too. I can't show you what the signs look like, either. Uh, some of the big signs that they're hanging up all over the city. They're putting it on these businesses that have to close early. They went around protesting and they were saying it said the uh, the breakdown said something like Zionists go home or something like that. They were yelling at the tourists, but they were more so the 
the people who were protesting explained that they weren't yelling at the tourists, but yelling at the business for not joining them. In other words, every other business says, we're going to do this. We're all going to protest. And this one business, Pergaminos or something like that, said, hey, we're not going to, we're not going to join in. So uh, they just didn't particip participate in it. Um, is this a police? Let me, I'm, I'm going to try to take a look at some of your uh, comments in a section, but uh, let's see, just a little bit more in this story. It says, in fact, one of the aspects of the several sources familiar with these issues have highlighted that uh, is the S exploitation of miners does not occur uh, in public areas in El Poblado, but it's more complex modus operandi where they transcend the borders and it's even seen in peripheral communities uh, where children and adolescents are picked up in vans or in other vehicles. I hate even reading this stuff, man. This is just, and it's not getting any prettier. I'm not going to read this. It's just, I, I will, once I get this onto my laptop and it's uploaded, then I can configure it, but it's not allowing me to use my cameras, which I'm having the one to use the one on my, on my laptop, which means I cover up my camera because I don't want nobody watching me. I'm one of them secret squirrel type people, uh, especially when I'm in my room. Who wants somebody looking at me? looking at you when you're in your room. Merchants from Parque Yeras are protesting at this time in El Poblado, demanding the right to work. Let me, sh well, I don't know, will this play? No, that's just the audio. Um, at this time in Medellin's Parque Yeras. Yeah, um, it's saying, uh, the sign says SOS, no apoyo mozo, it's not helping exploitation of S of young ones. Uh, they say no to decree 0247. 5,000 families are without work. That's what they're saying. At least that's what the sign, let me see if you can, I don't know if you can see, but that's what that yellow sign says. I think it's further down too, but they're posting those signs all over the place. Um, this is not helping um, those who are ex exploited. Uh, and they're saying no to decree 0247, 5,000 families are without employment because of this. And as you can see, it was a lot of them. I mean, think about how many people work in those businesses around there. So, I mean, it's it's a hardship. Um, let me take a look at some of the comments right quick, because I just want to jump on really quick and then pass it on, because I told you guys, I told you guys that they will, there will be a, a, a protest. There, no way were they going to take this. Either it's the women and their group, because they are organized, believe it or not, how the organizations cross when the groups of people are running them, and then the NGOs who's helping them. Uh, even the gentleman that I did the story on a few weeks ago, he's involved, his NGO is involved with helping them. But let me see, um, I'm gonna start back up at the top. Uh, let's see, Medellin is SN party and how long that is crazy. Uh, young Simba says, uh, so how long do you think this ban is gonna last? I mean, I have no idea. This, I mean, they, they need to come up, really, they need to come up with an alternative. They need to come up with some kind of way to to allow this, but give them a place where they can go. Because, honestly, I don't think Park Yeris is just beautiful. Why? I mean, it just, I mean, it, it, it made it almost be like a, a fantasy land for guys to go down there because it's tropical, it's beautiful. I mean, Park Yeris is beautiful. That whole area back there, trop I mean, you go out there during the day, you hear different birds you don't hear here, the the trees and the palm trees, everything is just tropical. It's different. Weather's good. And you got beautiful women walking around. But because of what they're doing, it kind of trashes it, personal thoughts. I think it trashes up the area and it turns it into an open air brothel. So send them somewhere else. Remember, guys, there's places you can go. And they're all over town. And they are, uh, they are checked every so often, I'm told. Somebody yesterday commented that they're checked every six months. Um, they have to be registered. So again, the saying, if you can't find them tomorrow, they know you can't find them tomorrow, doesn't apply there because you found them there today. You, chances are you can find them there tomorrow. So uh, there are places you can go in the strip clubs. If I say those, I mean, there's places all over uh, that you can go to. Um, so I don't know how long, nobody knows how long. Uh, Rob, most people in hotels and Airbnbs are in those areas. True, they pick those areas because they want to be close by. That hotel is in the mix, though. Um, I think that's in Provenza uh, that, that's involved in the story of that guy. It's a high-end one. Somebody said $800 a night. Who's paying $800 a night for a hotel room for one person? I mean, if you got a bunch, a group of people, I get that, and you're sharing it. But 
I don't get it. Is this a political movement? I mean, if it's not, it will be because they're organizing. Obviously, if they can get that many people, 5,000 family members, I mean, there may be 5,000 people to work. Think about it in all those areas and restricting that stops you guys from coming to that area and for you guys to go to those other areas that are protected. But it's still going to be like somebody commented earlier, it's just going to force, will force more people to get on the apps and that ain't good at all. By the way, I'm going to interview a gentleman. He's got a story. I've heard a lot of wild stories. If you heard the story uh, about the guys who got kidnapped and extorted and held at gunpoint and all of you remember that story I did about a month ago. It's wilder than that because, well, I can't even say why, but there's video. And I'll tell you this, I won't be able to play the video during my interview with him. I'll have to do it in a separate video because it will get flagged. But I want you to see it because he says and his friends say it's okay to show and they want to show it to you to make sure that other guys behind them know. Now, he did go through my link. He did contact the cops there, but he also went through uh, uh, the link for on my video how to do the denuncia form. And he did it. He's got his confirmation. Hence the reason why I'm bringing it on. I need that. Obviously, I've gotten got once by somebody who came on and told falsehoods and I'm trying to do my best to make sure it doesn't happen again. It's a de facto ban. No, it's still there. And if anything, they're more desperate. Hell, the prices may be less. Um, cops out in force in Yeris. Uh, they're literally doing much through, uh, though it's crazy. Those huge signs were there on Tuesday, but they're all open on Wednesday. Yeah, I don't even know why they were closed. Was that, was that, Two o'clock in the morning, one fifteen in the morning. Uh, Pergamino, there you go, Pergamino. Um, they should tax the hotels and use the resources to com combat trafficking, but then you'd have to have a monitor in every hotel. I don't know about that. Provenza isn't closing it at one only Parque Yeris. Uh, he named those five areas. It should be if they're serving alcohol is what he said, but I don't know. Somebody on the ground, let me know. I'll bet uh, it'll be back to normal this weekend in Provenza. Things do change. When they do this kind of stuff, things do change back rapidly. I can tell you that. Hey, Renee, what's up? What's up? What's up? Appreciate you guys. And a shout out to Jimmy, too, for uh, coming out with me last Thursday night. Uh, one of you guys, I got a local viewer, said, hey, Rob, what you doing? I'm like, man, I'll let you know where I am. And he came on out and hung with me. That was cool. Uh, as a long-time visitor to Columbia, I noticed Colombians throw a tantrum when they don't get their way. They stand up. They protest instead of just letting things happen. And more so than that, we do that in the U.S. We just let stuff happen, and we say somebody else is going to stand up and say something about it. That's why I always have to be that person. It's frustrating. I always have to be that person. Example, <laughs> you've had this happen. You go to CVS or, or, or uh, Walgreens. It doesn't matter, either one. You know there's only one person working in the whole store outside of the guy writing the prescriptions. I mean, filling the prescriptions in the back. But out front, there's probably nobody at that counter until you walk up in there. And then when one person comes around, there's another person pops out of nowhere and he's stocking the shelves. Meanwhile, it's 10. Now it's 15 people in line. And everybody just, everybody's frustrated. But I got to be the one to go, excuse me, yo, is there a manager here? Who's a manager? Who's managing right now? Can somebody, can old boy just stock on the shelf? Can he, I'm that guy. Yeah. I'm the squeaky wheel. Yeah, I'm the one at the restaurant when things don't go good. I'm the one to tell them things aren't going too well. If things go really good, I'm that person to tell them things are going really good, too. So, you know, businesses need feedback. How can they make it if they don't know how things are going? So give your feedback. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, okay. Okay, some stuff I'm going to skip. Uh, Blaine says they can, uh, they can section off Parquilleras and Provenza for adults only have no minors in that area, but they're going to go straight when I mean, they had already done that, right? And where were the young ones on Calle Diaz? You can see them. And you know. I mean, even a 21-year-old, why would you even play with somebody in their early 20s? Mm, if they don't look 30, why would you even take that chance? Why are you picking them up off the street? And like that girl said, the girl that helped the guy who was found, passed out, what, two weeks ago? She asked a question. In your country, do you do that? Do you bring people back to your house that you don't know? Do you? I wouldn't bring nobody back to my house that I don't know. I gotta know you. I don't even want you to know where I live. Uh, it was a joke. Tons of the women in the Parquilleras and the cops just stand there. 
Okay, just just catching up. Hi, DC born Rob. What happened? Nothing happened. I'm just going over the fact that the that they're protesting in the area that it is an, a, an active, a fluid situation. That things are still going in, going on. They're not just letting it go. I just want to hop on really quick. Um, I'll be home tomorrow. I can't wait till I get home where all my stuff is, man. But ain't nothing like trade shows. I get little trinkets like this, little connections. I got bags, everything from banks and bags and lip balm and all kind of this crap. And the food, man, they had shrimp. They had crab meat, lump crab meat tonight. And ribeye steak, meat, but man, they, they overdid it tonight. Uh, the club still open, just a curfew. Salute Mr. Rob. At the end there, Brazil, hey, yo, CJ, what's up? Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if the mayor was, uh, the mayor, the president will require a visa for people to travel to Colombia. Yeah, I don't see that happening too. I don't see that happening. I'd be surprised, let's put it that way. Gil, what's up, my man? Says, salute Rob. Ash L says, remember when the president wanted to raise the taxes over during the pandemic? They tore up the streets in Cali and other parts. Uh, Commander Claude, 21 year old woman are hot. Okay, gotcha. What happened? Nothing. And uh, young Simba says it, it definitely happens. Anyway, I just, I'm just wanna, just wanna hop on really quick. It's only been 16 minutes, but I just wanna hop in and hop back out to let you know that they are protesting. The merchants are protesting, and I'm gonna assume alongside of the girls because you, you messing up their flow. Does anybody remember the TV show The Wire? It's filmed in Baltimore, drug dealings, and how they came up with Amsterdam. You guys know. <laughs> One of the baddest shows that's ever been on HBO, been on TV, period. I say it was better than The Sopranos. It was the, pretty much the Black Sopranos anyway, but they had an area where they allowed the DRUGS to go and they just put them in one area. I mean, hell, you have the Bronx down there. You got everything in one area and you come through there and clean up from time to time. The police do. And they find weapons and DRUGS every time. But it still goes on. But give them an area to go to. Just... I mean, Parque Yeris is beautiful. I say why, you know, you know, but like somebody just mentioned a little bit further up, guys do go there. Um, or most people stay in those areas because it's a nice area. You stay off of 43rd or uh, 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 Las Vegas uh, Avenue, anywhere up on Calle Diaz. I mean, it's a really beautiful area. Go further up uh, around El Tesoro. Man, it's a beautiful city. And that I means not so much walkable. From 43rd on up, you going uphill. Even from the metro, from Poblado Metro, you head up towards Parque Yeras. It's all uphill. But it don't really start going up the mountain until you, like, pass Yeras and Provenza. Then it peaks up. It kicks up. It's just so you know, it's harder on the knees coming down than it is going up those hills. Anyway, uh... I remember a group of young people was doing interviews in Parque Yeras, and they asked me, do, do they have the working girls in the United States? Uh, I was like, they still have the same thing in the United States. It's just the quality is different. True. Oh, true. Yeah. Well, at least I see certain areas. Hey, we got an area here. I, I've never been by there. Somebody told me, somebody visiting said, I want to go over here and ride off of this and that. I'm like, why? Because of that? Yeah, because I've seen some of the videos on YouTube. Man, YouTube pop up some crazy stuff on the brother. But anyway, uh, I just want to hop on really quick. Anybody have a question or anything? Just right quick. Um, I just want to throw out the last little bit of news. Um, I was like, they're the same. Okay. I'm from 63rd. I see you, Rob. There's some nice spots you had on your Instagram. Oh, man, you have no idea. Man, I'm outside. I'm outside. Some of these places in Houston, man, we got some bad clubs. And we got some, I found like another four or five live spots tonight. So it's difficult ramping up that channel. Remember, check me out, Big City Houston. Type in uh, uh, live music Houston and hopefully give me 30 days and I should have some sort of ranking by that. I'm going to post every day. I look like crap right now, but I did when I started this too. So it gets better. Promise you it gets better, but just got to have the time working with my editor to work things out. Um, but yeah, there's some clubs, man. There's some spots here and the girl, man, stop saying that. Stop saying that. There ain't no girls in the U.S. Bro, just go outside. Just go outside. They ain't knocking on your door. Promise you that. But, and remember this, whenever you sit at a bar, if there's any message I can get over on top, I wanted to share the fact that they're out there protesting. If you're sitting at a bar, talk to the person to your left. 
talk to the person to your right. Introduce yourself. It don't matter who it is. If it's a guy, it don't matter. Holler at him. Say what's up. If it's a girl, talk to her. It don't matter what she look like. Talk to her. It doesn't matter. That gets you talking and gets you used to talking, man. Just meet people. You know, the universe put those people next to you for a reason. And I'll bet if you talk to them long enough, you'll figure out, oh, I didn't know that. Oh, you know what? I was looking for that. And here they are sitting right next to you. So if you don't talk to them, you don't know. And that's a safety issue when you're out of town, too. Talk to people, whether they're local or not. And if they're not, you get to practice your Spanish. Puedo practicar, quiero practicar. Necesito practicar mi español. Let them know. You want to talk when they, a lot of times they're going to ask you, would you, would you rather talk in English or, you say, I, I speak both. Would you want to, which one you want to speak in? Don't say English. <laughs> I know it's easy, but say Spanish. Struggle through it. They will help you. They will tell you, and you can even say, how do you say? Instead of say, como se dice, you can say, how do, you, how do I say? Because they already speak English. Have them help you out. Man, they, there's some friendly people there, man. There's some lovely people in Medellin, I'm telling you. You just got to get out of Parquilleras. Parquilleras is, you know, they got, they look at you some kind of way now. They look at you like you, that type of tourist. You know what I mean? They're looking at everybody like that. Whether you're just visiting, you know, they look like, they look at you like you that. Unless you are, again, a single female, or you are a couple, or you are a family. Other than that, you're a target and you're just one of them dirty American, European, Canadian, Mexican, Brazilian visitors. They just, they lumping everybody in the, in the same pile. Whatever you want to call yourself, you're still a foreigner to them. But anyway, talk to the people next to the left of you. Talk to the people to the right. Talk to the people in front of you. Just talk, talk to people. Meet people. Man, I, I can't tell you how many people... Man, how many bartenders I know in this city right now? I walk up to my new spot, O2, man. Just the, the, the security guard knows me, man. When I go to the bar, the, the chef fist bumped me because he knows what I He knows when he gets a hamburger back there with no bun, a cheeseburger, that he knows is for me. And I told him, yeah, I'm low on carbs. He tried to give me some fries. I was like, some garlic truffle fries. I was like, well, I ate, man. Okay, I appreciate it. Thanks. So I had to eat like two or three of the fries. The next time I came, he remembered and gave me string beans. Man, and the bartender hooks me up, and they know when I walk in. And I'm not even that much of a regular. There's too many places here, man, but I'm outside. I'm outside. So check my channel out, too, because Big City Houston, in time, I'm actually going to have a segment on there called Outside. I'm going to bring people from inside the club outside and talk to them. Yo, my name is J Joanne. I'm 32. I'm from Philadelphia, and I love this spot right here. Well, why you love this spot? Because there's a lot of guys here. Okay, ask the fella. So how you like this spot? Cause, man, this, let me tell you something. Out of all the places in Houston, and I've been to quite a few, not all of them. I probably ain't been to 20%, but I've been to a lot because Houston's got a lot. But O2, only been open about three weeks, maybe four weeks now. I mean, not O2. Uh, love, L-O-V-3. The E is a backwards three. Man, I, I just looked around. I fanned around. If you saw my videos, I fanned around, uh, spun the camera around, and it's just like tables of girls, girls, girls. You know, they don't all have to be beautiful and stop always looking for that dime piece. Are you a dime piece and a guy? Are you fit, number one? Are you healthy, number one? So don't, don't ask for more than you give it. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. And if and it and if it, it really doesn't matter what you look like as long as you talk to them, that's the the key right there. You got to talk to them. You got to approach them. Find something you like in everybody. How about that? Man, I like them shoes. I like that. Oh man, I love your hair, man. I see girls. I love their hair. Man, I love their smile. I love something about them. <laughs> I love something about all of them. Um, I'm telling you, man. Just get out. Just go outside. Let me let me try to get caught up and then I'm gonna get out of here. Let me see if I can't go back to where I was. Okay, I'm 63. Uh, I see you, Rob. Those are some nice spots on your Instagram. Okay. Yeah, check me out on Instagram. That's what this is more. I do more personal stuff, but uh, did I go too far back? Salute DC. Uh, how definitely uh, Houston definitely got women out there. Believe that, Mr. D. Believe that, bro. Are you here? If you are, give me a shout, man. We can hang out because I'm outside. I'll be back tomorrow. I'll be outside tomorrow night. Uh, Hector says, uh, not everyone in NPC. What's in NPC? Maybe I don't even need to know. If I don't need to know, don't tell me. You know what I don't need to know.
Uh, my wife loves you. Baker Tony says, my wife loves you. Who's Baker? Who's your wife? Uh, anyway, that's nice to hear, though. Uh, Ivan Ortega says, love it. Uh, Wilson Mars says, Rob, thanks for what you do. I told a few friends that you were going to Columbia to check out, uh, that we're going to Columbia to check out your channel. Please do. And I've had people to tell me, too, this is why I continue on. Because I get comments like that when somebody says, Rob, man, that, 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 I appreciate that. They let me know to look out over here or to look out over there. I made sure I didn't have my jewelry on. And you know what? When I got to the airport, I saw other people with the jewelry on. When that, when you see, look, when you go with no jewelry and you see somebody with jewelry, they're the mark right there. If you in a group with them, they're the target. They're going to go for them first. Man, wait, wait till you hear this story, though. I, I got to tell you this story. Hopefully I'll interview him this weekend and post it soon. Um, but there's a lot, like, I want to know the logistics of the room where it happened and how these guys ran up in there. The girls on the phone, be careful when they texting while they with you. Who they texting? Who you texting, girl? <laughs> I mean, straight up, you need to find out. Who who you texting? Who you calling? Oh, you calling your own Uber? What girl calls her own Uber and going to pay for it? Come on. Uh, okay, uh, let's see, uh, Madden Fragrance Champ, I wear fragrance, so so they come to me, hey, gotta smell good, hey, that is a definite in Medellin, especially if you're gonna be out there dancing, you gotta smell good, don't go out there after playing ball, man, and somebody interested in you after you playing ball, then they funk, they faking the funk, believe that, while you carrying the funk, uh, you, but you do have to smell good, man, hey, somebody, somebody tell me, what's a good uh, cologne, because I'm out of the cologne loop right now, I got what I got. I like what I use. But somebody give me some update stuff that's not expensive because I ain't paying. Put it this way. See if they got a sample bottle. <laughs> Tell me something where I can get a sample bottle because I ain't spending $100, 300 Man, you got to be kidding me. Ain't nothing smell that good. And you know how long it would take me to, to use $300 worth of cologne? I got cologne from three, four years ago. They still smell the same. And I still like them. Uh, uh, keep on, keep it on, cuz. Appreciate it, Ivan. Appreciate it. Uh, Savior Savoir Faire, uh, so glad I found your channel, brother, on the way to Medellin with, with my bestie in May. There you go. That's what's up, Savoir Faire. Uh, now I see a picture of a female. Is that a female going down? Man, females have no problem. I mean, you know, number one, think about it. If you're a single female, you're not out there late anyway. So when the, all of the, the nettiness goes on, they're not out there anyway. Uh, Tiger Jack, opinions on Burwellians? I don't know what that is. J-Man says, victim blaming. Who is? I don't get that. Hector Cole says, uh, Savoir Faire, best place in, is is a studio on Sunday. Take the train, very safe. There you go. Good advice from you guys. Uh, Ivan says, uh, you're a storyteller. I love it. Thanks. I need some stories, man. Go back and watch my story about I met one of them girls you guys love to hate. That was my favorite one talking recently. I did it about a month or two ago. I I knew when I met her, I had a story to tell you guys. So I was be there early, like 8 a.m. Okay, gracias, Hector. There you go. Communication, communication. Talk to each other. Talk to each other. Meet somebody, man. Every day you go out, make sure you know you, you're going to meet somebody that day. J-Man says... Always do uh, enjoy your advice, Rob. Appreciate it, man. Much thanks. And I appreciate all you guys. If I haven't told you in the last five minutes, I appreciate all you guys. Thanks for coming through. Thanks for all the likes. I'm sure looks like there's 117, 107 people in here, so I'm sure at least I got 107. That's not how it works. You know how many, what percentage of likes I get if I have 1,000 views on the video? Just throw that number out of 1,000 views, and I'm going to get 100. One out of 10 people take that time. But that's that's a way of supporting the channel without any dollars. But I do appreciate those who kick in a dollar, five dollars, ten dollars, whatever it is. It is much appreciated. OK, OK, maybe I'm a whole five dollar bill. No, who says, oh, he says, I'm a dime. I'm more like a 50 cent piece, but I do like me a dime. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't that you like what you like. Ain't nothing like that. And if you like the Latinas, I get that. But there's Latinas here. I, I'm a I'm, yeah, I'm not even going to comment. Uh, Gladys with the capitalism money buy 800 a night rooms. Rob, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I don't know anybody would spend 800 dollars a night. I don't hang with that type of person. 
Savoir faire, de nada. Also visit, uh, who says, you're thankful. You're, um, you're welcome. Also visit La Caje, La, La, La Queja, and other pue pueblos. CJ, I uh, always love your advice, Rob. You are the man. Much thanks, CJ. Much appreciation. I, 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 man, I'm so thankful, even more so for than anything, for the regulars that come through all the time, man. You guys are awesome. Wish you all success, sir. Thank you. I guess that's what my, uh, my other channel, I'm trying, man. Starting from zero, it's a struggle, but I'm up for the fight. I've been doing this five and a half years, and I started off. I bet you go back and look at my videos when I first started, you'll get sick, literally. If I look at them, I'll get sick. But I leave them up because they're a lesson. They show where I came from, just like I wish I had pictures of me as a child. I don't. You know, we didn't have cell phones when I was a kid. So uh, I, got, I think I got one picture of me when I was four, and then all of a sudden I ended up 10. Then I was 15. We just didn't take a lot of pictures back then. Uh, five nine slim to a little chubby. Young Simba says, "Okay, uh, not play a character. Just there to fill the space. Not important." So we're fair. Mucho gracias, Hector. Um, remember now, if anybody's giving advice to anybody and you want to keep in touch with that person too, join our private group. Again, uh, send me your WhatsApp number and your name. We are not on WhatsApp. We are not on WhatsApp. Oh. We are not on WhatsApp, okay? I just use your WhatsApp number as a reference. But when you get in there, Luis is the uh, group moderator. He can answer any questions. But more so than that, you guys can interact. And there's a way in the app also where you say uh, your location. You, you turn your location on. So make sure you change it, though. So, But if you're in Medellin and you say who's nearby, it'll show you who's nearby. And you can text that person. And, you you know, it may be somebody that you talk to from tonight. Um, or if I do it in Houston, the people in Houston will pop up. Muchas gracias, Hector. Uh, Brother Rob, blessings to the world. Thanks, bro. Much thanks, for shot. I appreciate you jumping in here. Uh, Metal Dude, the upside of Medellin Mayor cracking down on a certain type of tourist is that Airbnb, Airbnb prices will go down. I don't know. Man, everything is going up. I can't tell you. Man, I went to the chicken place the other day and bought a four, piece, four wings and two sides. It was $16. I was like... I was through the drive through too. I was like, she goes, yeah, I know. <laughs> she, just, she probably, I wouldn't buy, but that. I was Pollo Compero, though. Anybody know about Pollo Compero? Anybody from El Salvador, Honduras? Guatemala? Uh, okay, Rajat says, hi. Shout out to you. Nina, facts, homie. Uh, Ethan says, stronger with you intensely. Mia, vanilla. Nina, Old Spice. Oh, okay, so I'm getting names, okay. Let me, okay, so what kind of, Mia, what, what's vanilla what? Ice cream? <laughs> is it called vanilla? So, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to go at, tell them I want to smell it. You know, they put it on a little piece of paper. And take me a handful of coffee beans. I think that cleans your palate in between. Um, Old Spice? <laughs> Yeah, you know what? They still make Old Spice, too, but yeah, I can't pull that off, bro. I ain't that old school. I can't wait to get back to Medellin, says SC Talk. I don't blame you, bro. I'm cheap on cologne. You ain't lying. Me, too. I, hey, I wear one of them duplicates. Can't nobody tell. Man, I ain't out but for so many hours anyway. I do a couple of swirls before I hop in, the, in my Uber. Kayali Vanilla. Okay, Kayali Vanilla. I'm going to look that up. A. Okay, I'm gonna look that up. This Savoir Faire. Are you a female? I see a picture in your in your icon. So I just just I'm just asking if it's a advice from a male or a female. Nina says Old Spice for me. Okay. Y'all just joking on me now. Uh, J Man, uh, go to the stores and spray <laughs> and try it. Uh, perfume smell reacts differently to different people. That's true. But you know what? Oh, and, and uh, what's the club I told you I like in town? The, um, love. They got an attendant in the bathroom, too. Almost like a strip club. He in there, man. He got candy. He got, you know, them little little candies, little little mints, little like lifesaver mint. I said, how much is that? He said, a dollar. I'm like, damn, bro, you killing it in here. Who's paying a dollar? Somebody drunk. And I don't know how you get drunk in there when every drink is $18. Mm -hmm. You know, that's when you got a drink in your car or a drink before you get there, before you get in the Uber. Let's say that before you get in the Uber. Uh, OK, so what if I say, yes, I'm a lady. OK, so now I'm taking the point of view of a lady. So. 
Kayali Vanilla. I never heard of that one. Okay, I never heard of that one. And thanks for joining us, too. Recommend your other ladies uh, hop in here, too, especially if you're going to Columbia. I mean, hopefully, I mean, go back and look at some of my older uh, videos. I think a lot of them are informative. I've gone out of my way. I've spoken to attorneys. I mean, those videos are still there. They don't go away. So, I mean, get some benefit of it, uh, out of it. And if you're doing dental work, too, see my guy, uh, Dr. Maury, Carlos, he's an artist. Until I, used to, I used to hear him saying, I'm an artist, I'm an artist, until I realized I thought he was a tooth artist because he, you know, he lines everything up. But then he's also a, an artist, just like my brother, a real artist. I hate designer clothes. I love designer clothes. I don't love designer prices. So that's why I'm at um, <laughs> TJ Maxx, uh, Marshalls, uh, a Burlington. Hey, there's one day in my jam almost, shoot, at least once a week, two times a week. Man, I got more shirts. I got like 30, 40 short sleeve shirts, especially since I'm keep taking care of my health. I, I think I, I, I fit those shirts well. So, but Perry Ellis is my designer, though. But I just fit his clothes. Uh, Kikamura, uh, get Car Carolina Herrera, bad boy cologne. I'm going I'm to smell these. Watch. I'm Carolina Herrera, bad boy cologne. That ain't no P. Diddy cologne, is it? Because I don't know if I can pull that off either. Um, uh, T.L. said, I just got back from Medellin this past Sunday. Wishing you were still there. I know, too, right? Uh, Mr. Versace was a psychopath. <laughs> Gucci, Versace. You think? Gucci, Versace? At least I got a direction. I'm going to try these. I'm going to look them, and especially with a, a female's point of view. I, I, I appreciate that. Uh, Charles Dwayne says, where is Bar 02? In Houston, it's a lounge. It's a, if you're in Houston, it's on Fondren between Richmond and Westheimer. Huge. Huge. They have a band tomorrow night. I just reported on my other channel uh, who's playing there tonight. Um, I did like a two-minute quick video. Uh, just to go over who's playing live tonight, but uh, O2, yeah, O2 is live, but it ain't the place to stand. I went there with a friend maybe a month ago, and another partner had called ahead to say, hey, can you, you, you got seats in your booth, because there's a whole bunch of booths and tables, and he was able to get one seat, so I let her sit at the seat, and I had to stand next to her. Man, I got bumped, bump, 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 literally over 100 times. I could not wait to leave. I had to leave, go sit outside for five minutes just because I got tired. And then they do them hookahs, and you can feel the heat behind it as they put the – man, everybody's smoking that hookah stuff, not me. I know what's in that stuff. But outside, then they have a little – they're selling stuff. They're selling weed, real weed. I don't know how – he said, like, you got a license. They're selling all kind of stuff outside. But O2 is live, especially the band. When the DJ got on, he kind of ran me off, though, because he was in, in, in. Am I in? Y'all in? Will you pimp in? I was like, mm, yeah. And now I'm getting bumped in. He's throwing the N-word out. I'm out of here. But O2 is, is it's a nice spot. Um, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. It, I, I would say it's the best nights. Uh, Sebastian says, hey, hi, Dwayne. Uh, how is it spelled? How's what spelled? Heck, this is like, how high? Okay, it's an hour from Medellin. Buses leave the Estacion Station. Mexico is the best. I love Mexico. I mean, pick it. All the major cities, Guanajuato, Guadalajara, um, Mexico City, um, Monterrey. I've been all over there, man. I, and I'm trying to I try to stay away from it. Very rarely are you going to hear me say I went to Cancun. No, I, I want to be in the culture. The, why go to Cancun is just... A resort you you won't know if you're there in jamaican other than they're not saying yaman all day long waiting on my physical criminal background check then it's time to apply for that visa which visa um world explorer uh thanks for this channel to show how to stay safe me uh and me being new to columbia as of last year bet much appreciation man thanks for following along too thanks for all the shares too thank you for everybody who shares the stories a lot of times i'm ahead you know, you see it at night, and it says it came out six hours ago. Chances are I know about it. And just got to find the time to do it. Pollo Compero. Yeah, Pollo Compero got some good chicken, man. I, I, you know, 16 bucks, 16 something. 
for four wings. I think it was four pieces anyway, but I could have got four breasts, but I want, I like wings. Man, that chicken, $16? Man, I bet a number one at McDonald's is $10 now. I, I wouldn't know because I ain't going, but I want to live in another country because it's cheaper than the USA. <laughs> Tell me about it. Join the team, bro. Uh, Chrome Azaro, you have to try it. Chrome Azaro, you have to try it on, though, to see how it lasts on you. Okay. Chrome. Okay, Chrome Azaro. Bet. Appreciate you, J-Man. We'll explore Old Spice. I'm going for brute, man. Y'all, you, you, yeah, keep that. I, I, I still, I'm an older cat, but I can't pull that off. Uh, my Uber driver may put me out. Rob, I'm in the DMV. What's the best way to connect with you? I'm not in the DMV, man. I'm not back. I, I visit in May. I'll be back in May. Um, that, at least for now, that's the earliest. Um, but hit me up via email and we can go from there. I'm in Houston. Uh, hit me up via uh, email by dcbonerobgroup at gmail.com. No other email, no other TikTok, Instagram. I mean, I just can't check them all. Now, well, now I'm on Instagram a little bit more, but still, it's not easy. Uh, and shout out to anybody on the DMV, too. Um, Marcus uh, says, go to Brute. Yeah, that's real old school. You ain't lined up, but that's, yeah. That's something I used to get my step stepfather. I uh, said, so what do I do if I'm getting bullied? Don't get bullied. Stand up to anybody that's trying to bully you. Unless they got a gun, give them what they want. Will the Thrill, thank you, sir, for the $5 super sticker. Good evening, Rob. Hope you're doing well this evening. I am well, man. I'm just getting ready to pack. I'm an hour ahead of, well, not ahead of you because I don't know where you guys are. But I'm in New York, so in my hotel, as you see, junkie, packing, getting ready to get out of here. I got 6 o'clock, which means I got to get up at 3. No, I got to leave at 3. But then I scoot through security real easy, but I just don't know what this security is. This airport, well, not this one, but Philly is huge. Philly's airport is huge. It was walking like walking in the ATL. Uh, going to send you a message about the shuttle bus business. Okay. Uh, Rob, about the shuttle business? Is that for me? I don't know, Cyber Warfare. Um, J-Man, Rob, advice here. If you don't want to spend money on quality cologne, which you should, just walk into a department store and spray and leave. But Rob, you must buy what you like. Believe that. That's a good one. But when I thought of the club the other night, <laughs> they they have cologne in there in the bathroom. But I'm scared to ask how much it is to squirt now. Uh, um, what's the what's that song I'll be jamming on? I feel good. Oh my mama, I feel good. Is a, a second in there where he say. Something, some kind of cologne, fifty dollars for a squirt or something. I'm like, damn. I try and get rid of that gut so I can support the untuck it shirts. Believe that. Get in shape, people. Get in shape. I got man. I just ate poorly two night. I, man, they had shrimp, and when I saw that lump crab meat, just lump crab meat in a container. I'm a. I'm gonna do a quick reel on that. When I saw that, and I actually had to lurk dessert, and I don't eat sweets, so maybe that's why I'm on here now. I'm still buzzing. But I got to get up early. What time is it? Oh, shoot. I, I need to be in bed in a few minutes. God bless. God bless says God bless. Do better says hi. Man, your name's a trip. I like that, though. Hey, you got God bless uh, right before do better. Man, you guys are awesome. TL says, I've been going almost uh, every two months for the last two years. I can't get enough. I hear you. It's a price thing. Anthony Richardson, I go to O2 sometimes on Thursdays. I got the promoter number. Hey, let me know. Hey, hook me up. I need the promoter's numbers. I use a couple already. I know a couple already. And I use them for sources because they're the ones that book the live entertainment. So if you can, uh, hit me on email and we'll go from there. Uh, DCBornRobGroup at gmail.com. DCBornRobGroup at g gmail.com. DCBornRobGroup, not the other one. Um, yeah, you got to have a booth at O2, though. You got to have a booth. You get that first booth up front, I think it's like $45. It may hold like eight people. You don't even have to buy a drink. You just rent the booth. But it's just booths all over the place. When people sit on the back of the booth with their feet in the, in the seat. I don't know. But that, that place is live, man. It's just when it gets packed, it's it, pack, pack. Retirement visa. Got you. Got you, got you, got you. 
I had no idea anything, anything was happening in Medellin. <laughs> Man, something always going to Medellin. Did you see the time that protest I was there? I said, let me go around and report the protest for you guys. And they shot the tear, glass, tear gas off. Now it's like, only I walk into that stuff. Go back and look at that video. Uh, going to Cancun is like staying in the U.S., only staying in Poblado. Believe that. It's like going to Vegas only and staying on a property. Which is, you know, in Vegas, they try to do it that way. They, you know, they know it's 140 degrees outside, so they give you a little walkway that you work, go in between them. Remember, it's mostly on the Strip is only owned by two different companies. Caesars owns one of them, and then Resorts owns the other. MGM Resorts on, owns the other one. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, Saludos from Atlanta. Shout out to the ATL. Uh, thanks, Rob, for your great content on YouTube. Much appreciation, man. Thank you. Thank you to everybody who supports this channel. And stick, stick around and stay with me. Uh, this is good. Maybe this will humble some 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 things there. The only time will tell. Again, this is a fluid situation. This story will be active for a while. Same time zone. I'm in Ohio. Okay, I got you. I got you. Uh, you know what that name means? If I knew, if if you're going back to when I said I don't know what that means, I didn't know what it means. Stephen Ortiz says, "RIP, big juicy." Okay, good good with that. D-Max says, uh, shorty, joking, joking my cologne. Creed will make it. That's what's Creed will make you. <laughs> Creed will make you hurt. $3 for a bottle and $30 for a squirt. That's it. Creed. Now I want to go check out what Creed is. But you know that song so old. That other girl done redid that one. I look good. Man, when they put that on in the club, though, they still doing that for the club. You should see me try, up in, in my apartment trying to learn the, the line dance the other day. That, that to me, a dance. Dun, 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 dun. But every time I go to a club, man, they do it in between the bands. Man, they put like 30 girls up there and no guys. Well, I found a guy who was doing the lessons on there, and he was like, man, I'm tired of being the only one out there. So I'm, let's see what happened. I'm going to go out there and do it. Flying to Santa Marta, then Boca Tau on 11. Going to the embassy for my fiance and the two children. A lot of prayers needed. Prayers to you. Good vibes to you, Reese. Good vibes to you. Uh, hopefully we'll be flying back together. Oh, hey, keep in touch, man. Let me know. Shoot me an email on that. I love those good stories, man. Share those good stories. You got good stories to share? Don't just share the, the you know, the craziness. But you got good stories to share? Share them with me, man. If you want to come on and tell you a story, good or bad, let's discuss it first. But shoot me an email first. It all starts with that. I got to get out of here, though, guys. Thank you guys for joining me. It's time for me to get at least five hours sleep before I fly out of here. And thank you, Lord, and my boss for my first class seat. Talk to you guys later. I'm going to jump out if I can figure out how to do it. I can't even figure out how to end. Look, I can thumb, thumbs up myself. There you go.